Hi, welcome to Bookie. Today we'll unlock the book I'm a Stranger Here Myself, a book that examines daily life in the USA. What's the first thing that comes to mind when you think of the United States? Hamburgers? Hollywood? The Statue of Liberty. The United States was at the top of the world in technology, economics, and culture in the first half of the 20th century. American food, films, and music are popular worldwide. Perhaps everyone has all kinds of wonderful conceptions of the United States, it has the amazing Silicon Valley, well-known Hollywood movies, and interesting TV show detectives. It's also a place where it may take the FBI several months to find out they've caught the wrong person and where over 3.7 million Americans believe they've been kidnapped by aliens. As an American living in Britain for 20 years, the author Bill Bryson also had a splendid vision of the United States. However, after returning to the U.S. and settling down with his wife and children in the 1990s, he felt like a stranger there. The lifestyle and values of the American people had changed a lot, so Bryson had to re-examine his country. At the same time, the Mail on Sunday in London invited him to write articles about America for a column. He accepted the offer and wrote several pieces about his observations on America and Americans, which were later collected and published in I'm a Stranger Here Myself. When reading this book, we can feel like we're in the United States. We're shown many aspects of American life, and the book is full of funny and vivid details. The author's sarcasm and condemnations are insightful. He allows you to feel nostalgia and confusion along with him. Bryson combines British and American humor to make jokes about American life that underscore his deep observations and insights. There are reflections on American life and his country's identity. Bill Bryson is a master of cultural observation and the author of the best-selling science book A Short History of Nearly Everything. You can also find a bookie on this book. Another of his books at home, A Short History of Private Life discusses the development of life at home. He's one of the most humorous and prolific travel writers in the English-speaking world. His best-selling travel books include Neither Here Nor There, Travels in Europe, notes from a small island, and in a sunburned country. He's won many literary prizes such as the James Joyce Award and the Samuel Johnson Prize. He was also the first non-British person to be awarded an honorary membership in the Royal Society as a result of his literary contributions. He also served as the president of the University of Durham. Next, we will cover the book in three parts. Part 1 Americans' Daily Life. Part 2, Concepts of Americans. Part 3, Inefficient and Rigid Institutions and Laws. Scenes from American life often appear in Hollywood films and TV series. However, what is American life really like? Let's take a look at it through Bryson's eyes. First, let's look at their lifestyle. To Bryson's who is an anglicized American, communication between Americans can be confusing and annoying. When you order food at a restaurant, the waiters tend to introduce the dishes with complicated and gorgeous words that make you confused about their food. When you go to the barber shop for a simple haircut, the enthusiastic barber might ignore your wishes and cut your hair in a flamboyant style. Moreover, the United States is an obese nation. Half of adults are overweight. 300,000 people die every year from diseases related to obesity. However, Americans are crazy about greasy and sugary foods, and they happily bring junk food home. Supermarkets are full of it, and Americans consume it in great quantities. Americans also like drinking. To satisfy their demand for drinks, cup holders are everywhere. When Americans pick a car, they're likely to focus on the cup holder and fiddle with it. Have you ever thought about this? It seems that some Americans choose their car based on its cup holder. Sellers know this well. For example, the new Dodge Caravan has 17 cup holders in total. The largest caravan can carry seven passengers.